Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Cathedral of Hope. Cathedral of Hope UCC, Reverend Joe Hudson. And it's also La Cathedral de la Espinaza. The Cathedral of Hope is the largest gay organ uh, Founded church. Founded in 1970, it's the world's largest Christian libertarian church with an outreach to gay, lesbian, transgendered, and bisexual people. In the world. Touching thousands of lives each day through local and national church ministries, outreach programs, internet video, and television media. Check out the Cathedral of Hope at www.cathedralofhope.com. This is diversity for you folks, look at it. Young and old. Butch and not so butch. We don't discriminate, everyone is welcome at the Cathedral. Like they said, the Cathedral Hope is the largest gay uh, congregation here in Dallas in the world. In 2001, the parade was very somber occurrence. Of course, it was two weeks after the 9-11 event. And I can understand why that would happen. Even though the first parade was held downtown in 1972, the next parade did not happen until 1980. And in today's parade, there are 87 commercial community and organizational entries in this year's parade, including floats, bands, marching organizations, cheerleaders. I wonder what Carol Channing would say if she was here at the gay parade. Well, I just want to say that I think this is the most wonderful parade in the whole wide world. Oh my God, look, here comes the car that picked me up to my very first Tony Award. Oh, and there goes my other car when I went and saw President Kennedy. Oh, that's so pretty. Well, thank you, Carol. I'm so glad. Ladies and gentlemen, one of our, our one and only premier travel sponsor of Dallas Pride, the folks from American Airlines. <laughs> Proud to be your hometown airline, along with Gleam, which is American's LGBT employee resource group, celebrating 15 years involved in both Dallas and Fort Worth Pride Parades. American is the only airline to receive 100% on the HRC Equality Index for eight years in a row. Be sure to get winged. And they're handing out some 10% promo cards. Mr. George Caracho of the Rainbow Team. Happy Pride. That's right. Happy Pride, everybody. Let's make some noise for American Airlines! Yeah. Happy Pride, everybody. That's the extreme old All right, everything's going to start pumping up now, so the here we go. It's the W Hotel! And here we have Out and Equal DFW. Representing various companies that support equality in the workplace. Yes, diversity programs within their companies. 
This year's Out at Work was a huge success. And we thank all of our friends from Out and Equal DFW. Here we come with the Midway Hills Christian Church here in Dallas, Texas, midwayhills.org. Please welcome Midway Hills Christian Church, an open and affirming congregation of the Christian Church, Disciples of Christ, where LGBT folks, their families and friends are not only welcome, but expected to share the full life of the congregation. Their motto is be inclusive, do justice, and honor diversity. Join them in their journey of faith, Midway Hills Christian Church. And now, ladies and gentlemen, would you please make some noise? I know you've been watching them all the way down the street. Entry number 11 in the Alan Ross Texas Freedom Parade today is the Windy City Cowboys. From Chicago, Illinois. and I'd like to sing that song myself. These boots are made for walking. Please welcome the Dallas Bears and the Eagle Bears. Welcome President Wayne Davis, Vice President Tony Rux, Eagle Bear President Victor Hart, Eagle Bear Vice President Roger Wheeler and proud members of Dallas Bears and Eagle Bears. They just finished raising $28,000 this summer for Aid Services of Dallas, AIM, and Youth First Texas. Join them in 2010 for Texas Bear Roundup 15. Party with the gods. If you've never been to a bear event, I have been to quite a few. I've got to tell you, they are a lot of fun. Throw your change into the flag. They're raising money for charity, as always. So you got any change, toss it in the flag. <laughs> 